Don't you forgetting a fraction exciting now on BBC Two in Mega Maps. Deep in space lies superhero school. Its next student is boldly going to learn what no other superhero has learned before. Yes, this is the story of Math Man. All in Math Man, it's Math Man. I'm really going to miss this place. And where do you think you're going? Uh, Your Holiness, I'm going home. I've learnt about quarters and eighths, thirds and tenths. My training in fractions is complete. Not so fast, math man. There are more fractions to learn about, special kinds of fractions called decimal fractions. Decimal fractions? What are they? Well, they have a lot in common with ordinary fractions, equal parts that make up a whole, but they're written down in a different way. Then I need to know about them. Good. Then let the training commence with the fraction number line tightrope. <laughs> you remember learning about tenths? Yes. Watch. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and one or ten tenths. Very good. Now decimal fractions are just like tenths. It's just we write them down in a different way. Now this time I want you to walk the tightrope and watch how we write decimal fractions. Come on, off you go. 0.1. Well I never. One tenth is the same as 0.1. 0.2. Two tenths is the same as 0.2. See if you can call out what's next. 0 0.3. 0 0.4. 0 0.5. 0 0.5? I know 5 tenths is the same as a half, so I wonder if 0.5 is the same as a half. Best foot forward. See if you can call out the decimal fractions as they drop. 0.6. 0.7. 0.8 1 Oh, and 1 is the same as 10 tenths Whew. And those, maths man, are decimal fractions I think I understand them But look at this What's this point in between the two digits? Ah, that's a clever little sign called a decimal point Which basically means here come the fractions. All you need to remember is that the decimal point separates the whole numbers from the fractions. So everything after the decimal point is a decimal fraction. Let's see if you really understand. This is Frankie, the fraction frog. He's going to jump on the decimal fraction number line. I want you to work out which decimal fraction he lands on. I think I might need some help with this. Call out where you think he lands. No point six. No point nine. Oh, I was enjoying that. Where's the frog gone? Well, he's jumped past number one. Here, you find out what happens after one on the decimal fraction number line. I'm starting on the one this time. Can you work out what will happen? Call out the decimal fractions if you can. 1 1.1 1 1.2 1 1.3 1 1.4 1 1.5 1.6, 1 1.8, 1 1.9, 2. That's it, maths man. It's time for the coolest, most happening quiz show in the galaxy. It's time for Find the Fraction. For Find the Fraction. Hi. Calling tools to name, fractions are the game on today's Find the Fraction. Okay, we have the blue, 
we have the red, and we have the question. So let's play. Find the fraction. <laughs> <laughs> now, the team that gets the most questions right will go on to play the Find the Fraction physical challenge. Look to your monitors, question number one. What is three-tenths as a decimal? Is it A, 0.1, B, 3, or C, 0.3? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up. Well, both teams have answered C. The correct answer is C. Give yourself two points. Look to your monitors. Question number two. Which of these is the biggest? Is it A, 0.8, B, 0.6, or C, 7 tenths? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up. <laughs> Incredibly, both teams have answered A. The correct answer is A. Give yourself two more points. Now look to your monitors, question number three. Where do you think Freddy the Frog has landed on the number line? Is it A, 2.1, B, 2.8, or C, 2.4? Make your choice, find the fraction. And time's up. Now the red team have answered A, and the blue team have answered C. The correct answer is C. Give yourself two more points. Now, this noise means we've run out of time. Let's count up the final scores. The red team have a wonderful four points, but the blue team are this week's winners with six points. So come and join me for the Find the Fraction Physical Challenge. Physical Challenge. Now, Isabel, your job is to find the five decimal fraction blocks hidden within the balloon. Five. And Zachariah, your job is to put those blocks in the correct order from the smallest to the largest. Can they do it? Let's find out as we find the fraction. <laughs> so today, the blues have to find five blocks and put them in order from the smallest through to the biggest. Now to put the blocks in order from the smallest to the largest. And time's up. Well done. Isabel, come and join me. Come and join me. <laughs> well done. Didn't they sort well? Let's have a look at what you've got in the order. We have 0.6, that's the smallest number. Then we have 2.1, that's the second smallest. Then we have 3.2, that's in the middle. Then we have the second largest, which is 3.5, and then we have the largest number, 4.1. Congratulations! You put them in the correct order. <laughs> but now we've run out of time. But never mind, we'll see you next time on Find the Fraction! <laughs> Now then, maths man, I want you to listen very carefully. I'm now going to show you how to turn, or as we say, convert, a half, a quarter, and three quarters into decimal fractions. Let's start with halves. Move aside, you'll need these. Now, look closely at the fraction wall and zap on the number line exactly where you think halfway is. Well, halfway on the fraction wall is here. I join this up to the number line, and it goes here. 0.5. Very good. So if we want to write a half as a decimal fraction, we write 0.5. Now, concentrate very hard. I'm going to show you how to write one quarter as a decimal fraction. Now, join the one quarter block to the decimal number line. Dazzling decimal dilemma 
It falls halfway between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. How are we going to write that? Like this. It's more than 0 0.2, but not quite 0 0.3. In fact, it's exactly halfway between. So we call it 0 0.25. So one quarter is 0.25. Got it? OK, then. So how do we write three quarters as a decimal fraction? Sit yourself down, your wholeness. Let this superhero work it out alone. Right. Three quarters on the fraction wall is here. We join this up to the number line, and it goes here. Look. It falls exactly halfway between 0.7 and 0.8. So we call this 0.75. So three quarters equals 0.75. Well done. I think it's time for a reward. It's time for sports stands. Sports stands. Hello. Hello. Welcome to sports stand with me, Sue Harker. And me, Harry Braxton. I mean, handsome. What have you got for us this week, Harry? Well, this week, we've got one of our greatest athletes, Denise Lewis. Lewis. And the here she is at the 1990 the Commonwealth Games so and the long jump. Oh, what track. a jump. She, she gained a lot of height there. there, Harry. I'd say that looked about six... And three-quarter metres. Extraordinary. What, the, uh, the jump? No, you... We don't use fractions in long jump, Harry. We use decimal fractions. Oh, right. Well, in that case, I'll be needing my decimal fraction number line and my fraction wall so I can convert my fractions into decimal fractions. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Let's have a look at that first score again. It's six and three-quarter metres. Now, we know that that falls somewhere between six metres and seven metres. So, let's look at that part of the number line. And then we'll need the fraction wall. Now what, Einstein? Now, if we join the three-quarter mark with the number line, it falls exactly halfway between 6.7 and 6.8. So that makes it 6.75 of a metre. So, 6 and 3 quarter metres is the same as 6.75, which is the same as 6 metres and 75 centimetres. All right, clever clog. What about 6 and 2 thirds of a metre? Well, that's it for Sports Stand this week. Until hold next on, week... Hold on, hold on, Mr. Fraxon, know it all. What about six and one-third of a metre? I'm not listening. You can't do it, can you? <laughs> you can't do it? Yes! <laughs> oh, Harry Hansen, he's just the best. Fractions, decimal fractions, he can handle them all. If you say so. Oh, no, it's not who I think it is. Yes? What? The diddler? Diddling children? Money? Oh, no. Don't tell me that dastardly diddling diddler's doing his diddly deeds again. Yes, down there on planet Earth. I am on me way. What do you think? Yeah. And this one, two and five tenths pounds. What does it mean? The pounds are okay, but I think we have to turn the fractions into pence. But I don't know how to do that. What we need is to buy sunshade instead. No, what we need is 
Mathman! Is that bad? It's No, it's Matt's man. <laughs> oh, come on. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Greetings, Earth children. What's up? I need to buy one of these hats. But we can't work out the price of this one. It's in fractions. Okay, let me see. Ah, oh, see. Sounds like a job for the decimal fraction number line. Right. We know that two and five tenths of a pound is somewhere between two and three pounds. So that's the bit of the number line we need. Now we need to find where five tenths goes on that bit of the number line. Ah, look. It looks like it's exactly halfway between two and three pounds. That's interesting. Now we need to change that into decimal fractions, because that's how we write money. So, two and five tenths of a pound is the same as 2.5 pounds. Of course, we know that 0 0.5 is the same as a half. So 2.5 pounds is the same as two and a half pounds, which is... Two pounds fifty. So, this hat's two pound eighty, and this hat's two pound fifty. So this one's the cheapest. Thanks, last man. No problem. And remember, when you don't understand and maybe you need a hand, who are you going to call? Last man! Last man! Got you, you diddler. And now it's time to reveal yourself. You? Yes, it's me. I've been the dastardly, diddliest diddler all along. But why? Because you needed a proper test, Mask Man. Working out fractions up there is all very well, but it's not the real thing. My diddler was able to test your knowledge of fractions in the real world. So how did I do? You passed with flying colours. Yes! Yay! But remember, if you don't understand and you need a hand, who are you going to call? Bip, bip, and wee! You're holding this? So, Matt's man, a half is the same as five tenths, which is the same as... Matt's man? Congratulations. You have now passed your fractions and your decimal fractions. Oh, thanks, Your Holness. But what's next? What do I learn about after fractions? I'll have to check my universal numeracy strategy profile. But until then, keep practicing those fractions so you'll be able to build and split numbers into, into parts, parts of numbers, numbers other superheroes, superheroes cannot reach. reach. Bye. See ya. Mega Maths is up on Tabletop Mountain again next week, dealing with one of the most used mathematical skills, measuring.